we are talking all about Corrine's Confection Perfection, and she is an expert pie maker in the city of Quincy, and we've been making all morning this pie crust, and then we've showed you in the last segment the filling. Now, we're finishing off this pie. What do you do, and what's the key to dishing up the perfect pie so it doesn't boil over too much? Mine always boil over. Well, with a cherry pie, you have all this juice, and what I use, what I do is use a slotted spoon and try to get some of the juice out of it so mm -hmm. it doesn't cook over so much, but it, it will still cook over. Okay, and then we're ready for the top crust. So how does that all work? Okay, I just take this after rolling it out and put it on top. Oh, wow, perfect. And then and it came oh, up I very well. Knife. I took my knife away. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Covered it up. We're just going to cut around the edges to make sure everything is even, Steven. And then how does the crimping go? Well, that is with the way I do it. You can use a fork, you can use another kind of item or something to give it a little bit of a of a design, but what I do is I just take it and I pinch. And, and that's just, just to keep the filling it. inside. And look how a pretty her pinch is. I've always been told that uh, the pinch is what sells the pie. So <laughs> we're watching uh, this pie go into the oven in the next couple of minutes. Coming up on KHK this morning, we're going to talk a little bit more about some other confections that you can enjoy in the city of Quincy. Looks I, absolutely delicious. I hope when that pie comes out of the oven, it's next goes into my belly because it looks amazing. I know, and Melissa was right. How you pinch that pie together really kind of finishes it off. Because they always say you eat with your eyes first. So yes. something looks very pretty and appealing, you're definitely gonna wanna eat it. Someone who I, I know. know would love that pie is meteorologist mm -hmm. Ryan Dell.